When we look at the Exploration Lab, we're going to notice some things about the different layers of Earth. This is a FET called plate tectonics. We're going to come over here and we're going to see, okay, we have some tools we can use. We have um, a ruler, we have temperature and density tools that we can look at. We can zoom in and out. We can click on temperature views, density views, or both. We can show labels. Okay. I'm going to start with density and we can adjust up here thickness. We can adjust composition. We can make it have more iron, more silica, and we can adjust temperature here as well. So if I start, and I need to know um, which is more dense, the oceanic crust or the continental crust. So I can tell here I have a key down here, and the darker the grain of the rock, the more dense it is. So I can tell just by looking. This is darker than this. So oceanic crust is more dense than continental crust. I can also take my tool, and I can see, okay, well, there's the density of oceanic crust. And there's the density of continental crust. So that shows me too. Now I'm going to zoom here and I'm going to take this and I see all the layers, mantle, lower mantle, outer core, inner core, and up here's a crust. I'm going to take my density tool again and I'm going to start up here and I can say, okay, as I move down, density is going up and I'm even adding more density meters because density is going up so much. So my inner core is my most dense layer, and I get more dense as I move more inside the earth. I'm going to take my temperature gauge. I'm going to start up here. I'm going to move in. Okay, it's getting warmer, 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 and even warmer still. So also as I move into the earth, it gets warmer as I move down toward the inner core. I can also show temperature here. That helps me see too. The darker color is going to be less warm. The more reddish, lighter color is going to be more warm. So I can see that, okay, density will increase as I move toward the inner core and temperature will increase as I move toward the inner core. I can zoom back out and I can reset and I can take my measuring tool and I can say, okay, well, look, oceanic crust definitely looks thinner than continental crust. And then just making some other observations. What if I make the composition have more iron? Well, look, looks more dense. I got darker gray here. And it looks like I have more oceanic crust. What if I make it have more silica? Ooh. It's less dense and it has more continental crust now. So that's an observation too in this simulation. You can also look at some plate motion and I can put continental crust up here. I can put some oceanic crust up here and I can have it play. And look, my old oceanic crust is sinking below my continental crust. It's turning into parts of the mantle. And then look, I have volcanoes forming along that edge where the continental crust was. Now, what if I put new crust? What if I put younger oceanic crust up here and then um, continental crust? What's going to happen then? Let's take a look. Well, look, that young crust, it still sinks. Um, but look, my volcanoes look like they're going to form farther off to the right because maybe it's not sinking so quickly. It's not quite as dense. It's not sinking so quickly. All right, let's do new crust again. What if we do um, two oceanic crusts next to each other? So old ocean next to young ocean. Now I have a lot of ways I can move this. So you can see there's just a lot of things to play with here. Um, and have some fun with. All right. I think that gives you everything you need from the Exploration Lab.